This week in TV streaming, apparently we're making Darth Jar Jar a canon character. Kind of. We also have an update on the Gen V situation for those fans of the boys and that whole universe. Plus, the boys has given us a little bit of an update as well, and a fair bit more in TV this week, so let's get into that, shall we? Hello, nerds! This is the weekly TV news show. Not like the evening news with Tom Brokaw. No, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. This has more to do with TV shows, nerdy oriented TV shows, as well as episodic content that you will find on streaming platforms. If this is your kind of thing, then you can check out the full episode that I like to call the Week in Nerddom that covers all spectrum of pop culture and just generally nerdy things over on the main channel. You can find it linked down in the description or at the end of this video. All of that being said, let's talk about TV shows and nerdy stuff like that. Starting off in follow-ups and corrections, we have a follow-up on Snowpiercer. We we have a final season happening. The fourth season will happen. The premiere date has been set on AMC and AMC Plus, July 21st. So not day, day, what is it? Day after for the streaming service. It's going to be simultaneously on both. As I said, it is going to be the final season of Snowpiercer. So interested to see how this one ends. That's all we got there. Let's move next to the big one this week. And that is Gen V. If you remember, the last time we talked about this, it's been a few weeks. Uh, one of the stars, Chance per Perdomo, tragically lost his life a, a few weeks ago in a motorcycle accident. And so it's kind of been a, a little bit crazy in the Gen V camp for the last few weeks. They have officially come out and made an announcement that they will not be recasting the role of Andre Anderson. Production, rightfully, has been postponed for a certain amount of time. The official start date on production has not yet been announced, but there was an official statement given from the producers on their Twitter account, uh, and it is as follows. They said, as we continue to navigate the tragic loss of Chance Perdomo, everyone at Gen V is determined to find the best way to pay respect to his memory. We won't be recasting the role because no one can replace Chance. Instead, we have been taking the time and space to recraft our season two storylines as we begin production in May. We will honor Chance and his legacy this season. So pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie, like that's, that, that, it feels a little heavy and it should. And I have no doubt in my mind that they are actually going to do what they said they're going to do and, and honor his legacy because what a hell of an actor to have lost, man. He was, he was definitely going to be doing some great things in the future. So that being said, we do have a couple other things to get out of the way here in the follow-up section. Next up is Blade Runner 2099. We've talked about this one previously live action series that is going to be the sequel to Blade Runner 2049. That series has just announced they have found one of their leads in Michelle Yeoh. She is being billed as the series lead, so maybe it's going to focus exclusively around her. She is going to be the Blade Runner for the series. So she's going to be the the the, the stand-in, I guess, in, in a certain way for Harrison Ford in the first movie and then Ryan Gosling in the second movie. She's going to be that part for this story. So that's pretty great. Michelle Yeoh is always a win. I feel like even on the Star Trek stuff, I really dig her character more than most. So yeah, I, I'm very intrigued to see what she can bring to this story. And then one final quick follow-up is Night Court, the reboot series or the re uh, legacy sequel series, I guess, has been officially renewed for a third season over on NBC. So if you're watching on Paramount Plus, not Paramount, Peacock rather, if you're watching on Peacock, then good news because it's getting a third season. I still haven't watched season two because I'm a slacker when it comes to sitcoms like that, but I really loved season one and I really, really loved the OG series. So yeah, Always good news when you hear a show that you like is getting renewed. From there, let's get into trailers this week. We got, we got an Acolyte trailer that honestly, if I'm, if I'm looking at this in a vacuum, looks pretty damn good. Though, then you get into the 
press release and you get into all of the other things that they're talking about around the acolyte and because we don't live in a vacuum this does definitely does not exist in a vacuum and we have the main villain is being billed as non-binary the villain now remember this is the kind of pol uh, the the interpersonal politics that they're trying to push as a good thing and they're making the bad guy line up with their personal politics. I mean, does anybody else see this? Is this like totally lost on whatever, man? We've been talking about this, but kind of since the Matrix, the the fourth Matrix movie when it came out, Resurrections, I think, when it came out and and the, the Lana Wachowski was trying to make this a trans allegory and totally missed that mark, made it exactly the opposite. Now they're making the non-binary character the villain i really don't think they know how to push their own message but we're not going to spend too much time on that i mean otherwise it looks like it's going to be something interesting it looks like it could add some sort of really interesting element to the universe could i am not holding my breath for that because right now even mandalorian can't save star wars so yeah acolyte go check out the trailer form your own opinion they've already gotten they cut off the 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 comments on it so yeah it kind of is what it is at this point uh next up we have though the boys season four finally drops a trailer finally this trailer is absolutely i mean there are a couple of things in there that i'm going this is coming to an end soon like this really feels like they're building up to a proper finale is it going to be this season i believe we've talked about the fact that they want to go for five seasons at least five seasons so maybe they are gearing us up for that but yeah either way this looks like it is going to be another fantastic season of programming from the people over at the boys uh, also release date june 23rd is when it's going to start airing over on amazon prime so from there we have our next one is lego star wars rebuild the galaxy this is a new disney plus series obviously september 13th is when it launches and in this trailer we get darth jar jar so they're, they've they've heard the speculation about why Jar Jar was such a screw up in the prequel trilogy, and they're now leaning into the fan service. Is that going to be enough to get people to like it? I don't think so. Is it the fact that it's a Lego franchise as well, or a Lego associated franchise as well, series rather? Maybe that will save it a little bit, be and also, if they do something stupid, they can say, oh, it doesn't count because it's Lego. But also when they do something that most of us think are, is cool and they don't want that to be part of the universe, they can say, well, that doesn't count because it's Lego. So like it's kind of a double edged sword, though the trailer looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. This is I mean, you can't really go wrong with the Lego stuff, right? So, yeah, go check that one out, too, for sure. Next on the list of trailers, we got a few of them this week. We have the Rick and Morty anime got a trailer set to premiere sometime later this year no exact date for that just yet but it i mean if you're a rick and morty fan this looks like it's going to be doing all kinds of awesome for your brain so go check that out it is in japanese so i did not expect that but i'm also not a huge rick and morty guy so there is that and then our next one this one's a little bit on the epic side not gonna lie netflix's cobra kai has just launched a, a new trailer for the final season six season six is of note going to be released in three big chunks it is going to be 15 episodes so a rather long season in terms of modern television programming so it's 15 episodes part one so the first of the three chunks is going to be released july 18th Part two is going to then be released November 28th. And part three is going to be released sometime in 2025. So presumably, I, I would say if we get past March, I'll be very surprised with the release of the third part of Cobra Kai. But yeah, Cobra Kai season six trailer looks like it's going to go out on a high note and for all the right reasons. I dig that series and you should go check it out. That's all we got for trailers. Let's talk now about some regular and. Why, why do I get the 
impression you forgot to push the subscribe button. I mean, it's free, so go ahead and do that, and, uh... Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, thanks. We'll, we'll get back to the show now. Okay, bye. S News. I think we only have the one piece. I, my notes are a little scattered. Yeah, we only have the one piece for regular S News this week, and it's live-action Scooby-Doo series. I believe we might have... No, we have not previously talked about this because it was literally just announced. A live-action Scooby-Doo series over on Netflix is going to be show-ran by none other than the great Greg Berlanti. Say what you will about some of the choices he made with the Berlantiverse over on the CW, I think he still is a good a good person to showrun a thing like this, especially because like we have the Velma issue already. Let's get something that's a fresh take on this franchise that we all love that actually still works too, right? Like that's, but yeah, Greg Berlanti, the writers on this, this is where it starts to go downhill, goes, starts to go downhill fairly quick. The writers on this were, are Josh Applebaum and Scott Rosenberg. You might remember those names because they were the writers on the live action adaptation of Cowboy Bebop. There's our first red flag. Our second red flag for this is that it's being described as a drama project and also a live action update of the popular cartoon. The second part of that, less of a red flag. The first part of that, drama? Scooby-Doo drama? Really? Oh, Greggy boy. I still hold out hope that this is going to be fantastic. Is it going to be fantastic in the way that Smallville was fantastic? In that at the end of every, every episode, I really enjoy what happened, but I'm still super frustrated because Superman doesn't fly? Yes, I think that's the direction it's, it's headed in. <laughs> I, I still think it's going to be fun. I just don't think it's going to be as fun as I want it to be. So... From there, that's like I said, the only piece of regular ass news. We do have a suggestion this week, and the suggestion's a little niche, so I'm, it's probably going to be a little bit difficult for some people to get their hands on, but the name of the show is called From. There are two seasons. It is up on MGM+, Plus, which I honestly didn't even know was a streaming service until I got a free taste of this series on my Amazon Prime. Uh, it's freaking great. It is a horror series, so... Going into it, realize it's going to be very, very grim, very bloody, very gory, lots of harsh language, some violence. Know what you're getting into, but it is stupid good. I, I cannot, cannot sing the praises of this enough. There is supposed to be a third season coming, though the last we heard of that was a little over a year ago. So is it still in the works somewhere? Possibly, we don't know that for certain. So that's what we got for our suggestion for TV streaming this week. Go check out From on MGM Plus or however the hell you need to get your hands on it. I wholeheartedly recommend this series. That brings us to the end of the video, nerds. Thank you very much for joining me for the news. Once again, there is a full and probably much more up-to-date and recent episode of the news, the full-length version, if you will, called The Week in Nerdom over on the main channel, linked down in the description and probably link popping up somewhere around my face right about now. So click on that, go check that out as well. Or if you prefer your news in more truncated pieces, then by all means, just stick around here and go check out some of the other stuff we offer on this channel. Thank you very much for joining me. We will see you in the next one. Before we go, always, always remember, nerds, that if it is generally nerdy, it's probably here.